Want to get you caught up in the latest uh, news when it comes to coronavirus, the fight to stop COVID-19 and the plans to reopen the state of Texas. Governor Greg Abbott on Friday announcing a plan that involves opening the state in phases. Uh, it will be a slow phase, but today the first phase kicks off. And this has certainly been a polarizing topic with many people saying, hey, listen, can we open things up already? A lot of folks say we need to slow down and be cautious about how we open up the state. Want to get to our health and wellness reporter, Sonia Azad. Uh, Sonia, how mixed would you say the response that you've heard is? Oh, I mean, gosh, almost 50-50, Mark, uh, depending on who you talk to. And I know the longer we're sort of in the situation, the antsier people seem to get. Um, but it's important to note, you guys, that as Governor Greg Abbott said on Friday, this is going to be a slow process. Um, it's going to be a while, really, before things get back to what you would call normal again. I, I don't know that they even have a plan for how it could get all the way back to normal right now. They're sort of going uh, with the flow. So first up, big changes starting today. This morning, state parks will reopen, okay? Only for daily use, uh, day use, I should say, so no overnight stays or anything like that. There are many restrictions in place as well. Uh, visitors have to cover your faces with some sort of face mask or, or cloth covering. Also, you've got to practice social distancing out there and uh, no more than five people per group out in those state parks. Also, this Wednesday, doctors can resume some non-emergency medical procedures. So if you have a cancer screening, like a colonoscopy or uh, you know, a mammogram scheduled, then those should be uh, you know, back on track starting by Wednesday. Also, by this Friday, retail stores and businesses can all reopen, but only selling items to go. That means a drive through style setup or delivery or curbside pickup. You cannot go inside a store and sort of shop around or walk around. Now, as more employees get back to work, we want you to know we've got some protections that are very important to know about. A rule for families uh, is under the Federal Emergency Paid Sick Leave Act. So as long as businesses are open, employees can get up to 12 weeks of paid leave if a child's school or daycare is closed. And of course we know all schools are closed in Texas for the remainder of the school year. Now, we've been saying it all along, a big key here to getting the economy back open is more testing. Vice President Mike Pence is supposed to talk to governors today about that. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins tweeted over the weekend that a deal made with the Department of Health and Human Services will now allow Dallas County to test about 100 more people each day. Uh, today, we're also expecting a new report to be released made up of bipartisan experts that includes economists doctors as well as political scientists this is sort of a roadmap, if you will to get america back up and running again so that's expected today it also includes by the way ramping up testing uh, so we are talking five million tests daily by early june and then 20 million a day by late july that's going to be a game changer in all of this and of course we're going to have to just practice that patience as we wait until later on this summer. Mark, back to you. Yeah, thank you, Sonia. You talk about those tests being a game changer. Certainly one of the biggest criticisms of the federal government has been, hey, listen, without those tests, you don't have accurate numbers. Without accurate numbers, how do you know when you can open things up or even how you should open them up? So obviously increased testing, both the folks who are confirmed of having COVID-19 or folks who have had it, the antibody tests, you cannot understate just how important that is. I want to talk about the most recent numbers of confirmed cases in our state, almost 19,000 across the Lone Star State. Up in our area, Dallas County has the most 2,300 cases. Tarrant County right behind that with 1,200. Uh, so those numbers uh, continue to climb, but we are hoping that they are slowing down. Meanwhile, Governor Greg Abbott made a special appearance at a Sunday service, had a special message for those in attendance as we kick it over to Cleo Green, who is live from our newsroom with more on the governor's appearance. Hey there, good morning, Mark. You know, Preston Wood Baptist Church invited Governor Greg Abbott to join them virtually. Now, he told churchgoers that we're going to return to our normal lives pretty soon. That was his message on Sunday morning. So he was joined by Pastor Jack Graham from Preston Wood Baptist Church, as I said, virtually. He spoke about the next steps for Texans and dealing with the crisis during the pandemic, even sharing a life-altering story of his, his injury at the age of 26 that left him paralyzed. My point is this, 
we're all tested. We're all challenged. Everybody right now, but in your own unique way, every single person watching this today, you have your own tests and your own challenges. And there is a solution. There is something that will support you that you can lean on that will always be there for you. That's Jesus Christ. But, you know, hope is running thin for millions of Americans now applying for unemployment. The governor issued three executive orders on Friday, yet protesters, they gathered at the Capitol on Saturday morning in Austin, stating that's not fast enough, demanding all businesses be reopened using the hashtag reopen Texas. Abbott said there is urgency for Texans to get back to work, but his main concern is our health and our safety. People have been going without paychecks, without money to pay rent, without money to come in. Listen, our food banks are overflowing with people who desperately need food. That is a clear signal that the livelihoods of too many Texans have been compromised. All right, so during that virtual church service, Governor Greg Abbott said that next Monday, April 27th, he's going to announce a comprehensive phase-by-phase plan to continue to reopen the state of Texas. So that date, April 27th, and I got to tell you, uh, there was a lot of people that joined in on that online virtual service asking Governor Greg Abbott a lot of questions as to when they can return to their normal lives. Kara, I'll send it back to you. Yeah, many protests across the country ready to go back to work. Thanks, Cleo. Starting today, some much needed help for our heroes on the front lines. One of two child care centers will reopen at no cost. Essential first responders and frontline health care providers. Dallas DSD is partnering with YMCA and Big Thought to care for pre-K to third graders. It's a first come, first serve basis, though. So head to our website for more information.